morning, Kevin. Hey, Earl. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, my friend. We made it to another one. What is this, week nine of the year so far, I think? Probably, yeah. That sounds about right. And mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who are watching today, today's the first day of spring. Happy spring. I think yeah. the rest of the week is going to turn out beautiful um, from what I've been seeing. You yeah, know? yeah. Even an 80-degree day on Friday? We'll take it. Right. <laughs> We're not going to get snow. I'm ready for warm weather. Man, me too. Me too. But, but hey, man, it's been an interesting uh, week or so since we last chatted. It definitely has. Definitely has. A lot has changed, you know, on a lot of different fronts. You know, they have a lot of people paying a lot more attention to markets and the housing industry uh, overall. So, yep, because financials are in the news yet again. Uh, and uh, bank failures are the big headlines right now. And people are scared. I mean, you know, people are worried about their money. I have friends that are that in banking, that work in banks, and they said their phones have been blowing up with people calling to ask questions about their money. Is their money safe? Is it, is everything going to be okay? Right. Yeah. And, and you do. You have that type of panic happen after a couple of banks fold, <laughs> um, especially with FDIC only insuring two hundred fifty thousand. You know, so um, you know people tend to have a little bit more money stashed away in personal accounts. So like ah. What do we do? I don't want to lose my money, you know? Yep. Well, I don't have $250,000 uh, in checking right now, so yeah. I'm uh, I'm not losing much sleep, but nope. it actually yeah. hasn't been terrible for our business. You know, the, uh, yeah, the Fed has been trying to slow inflation and slow the economy, so they've been doing aggressive rate increases and waiting for things to start to break in the economy. And this was a pretty big crack. Yeah, gigantic. <laughs> Grand Canyon size crack, you know? Like, um, it, it's definitely changing the, the dynamics of things. And then with the Fed meeting reporting Wednesday, Thursday this week, yep. um, I'm pretty sure the market will reflect that. Some people yeah. anticipate this could be the beginning of that spring boom. That we had kind of already saw happening, but interest rates have kind of held people at bay. Yeah, yeah. And the consensus from what I think folks are expecting from the Fed is about a quarter point increase. Uh, but what's more important is what they say. You know, so yeah, you mentioned it's a couple day meeting and we'll get some impact from when they announce what the rate is going to be. But the the bigger impact is when they you know talk about what they expect going forward. So it should hopefully be a good week for rates, but who knows? I mean the the everything has been volatile lately, but you know, we work on behalf of our customers to take advantage of the lows and jump in when it's a good time. So it's a great time to buy. And uh, I think you were saying uh, inventory is uh, starting to to take a turn for the better. Yeah, ironically, uh, over the last several months, uh, every week we've been losing about 5,000 homes. And when I say losing, about 5,000 homes have been flying off the shelves because people have been buying. Over the last week, um, Chief Economist of NAR reported we're up 1,700 plus homes on the market on a national level. You, you know, so it's a little bit broader. Um, side of things but when you look when we're used to losing five six thousand homes a week consistently for months us putting a positive number on the board is a good sign yeah yeah absolutely we'll take it yeah absolutely and then uh mortgage applications nationally overall rose seven percent as compared to you know last few weeks when things have declined you know overall on the buyer side yeah and um, it's about that time of year spring is when things usually get busy in our world. Spring and summer is our busy season. Uh, so if anybody's thinking about buying this year, then you know, a lot of the folks buy and sell in spring and summer. So now's a great time to jump in with both feet. Absolutely. And that and that's something too, I think we touched on this maybe in our one of our last shows as well. Um, but for people to take advantage of, if you see the home that you want and it's available today, the best time to buy it is today. Because what will what'll wind up happening is, let's say today's Monday. Let's say Thursday, Fed give a great report. Interest rate drops closer to the six mark. Everybody's going to hop in. 
The weekend's weather report is supposed to be beautiful, so everybody will be shopping. But you know what comes along with that? Multiple offer situations, over asking price bids, you know, people having to bend a little more on the things or the foundational pieces that they want just to get the home. So absolutely, you know, just play it smart. That's the biggest thing I tell anyone. Just play it smart and make it make sense to you. It's going to be plenty of time to, you know, to, to change one or two interest points throughout the course you know, of your loan. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just common. I mean, no matter what happens, that's, those cycles are always, you know, coming and going. Exactly. Cool. Well, if anybody wants to get some more information, how do they contact you, Earl? Well, you can reach me always at 757-871-4167 or at the Bell Tower Real Estate Team.com. Also, um, quick little side note. I'm glad you mentioned that, Kevin. This is a program that Kevin and I, as well as my team, are working on. Just wanted to, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. This is our Bell Tower Real Estate Heroes program. You're going to see this come to fruition a lot more as far as we go, we go forward. These little two and a half by two business cards are just things that we, you know, hand out to the public, you know, just so they can see exactly what's going on. But nice, nice buzz coming your way from this. Awesome. Hey, it's great catching up and uh, we'll do it again next Monday. Sounds good, my friend. Have a great one. You too.